All right, don't know if anybody's here. All right, we got some people here. What's up, guys? What's going on? Cracking open a Dr. Pepper. Still waiting on that Dr. Pepper sponsorship to come in. <laughs> oh, that's good stuff. All right, I'm going to back up so you see less of me and more of stuff. Oh, Cam, thanks. He, Dad, so Dad's doing better today, it seems like. I saw him for a little bit. Um, so, anyway, improvement is good. Well, that's for sure, so. Ah, thanks. Uh, thanks, Fleming. Yeah, I, I like the shed, too. Uh, we just lost some light. Let me turn on some more light here, guys. Yeah. One of my lights is motion detected, and so it goes off after five minutes, and I'm on the other side of the room, so... Anyway, um, yeah, so the shed's nice, uh, got potential for sure, needs some, a little bit of repair work, but it did just make the 300 mile trip from Wisconsin to my house in the back of a van that was chock full of stuff. So, <laughs> uh, I think that turned out pretty good considering, um, it's pretty neat. It's big, that's for sure, but that's what we want because this is, so this is Dogtown Ag, uh, so this is going to be, you know, fertilizer dealer. And then the idea is eventually they're going to work into manufacturing fertilizer buggies. Of course, that's going to start in this shed. You know, it may forever be in this shed. I don't know if it'll ever turn into an actual, uh, you know, manufacturing thing or not. But that's the idea here anyway. So I think it's going to be fun. Just kind of a fun little storyline to go with. And anyway, I'm excited to have the shed. Kyle, I did not know that my birthday was one day before yours. I'll have to remember that. When are more display videos coming out? Really soon, because um, as soon as I kind of get everything shipped out here that needs shipped out, um, I will start working on, on Dogtown Farms again. Uh, I would like to get that finished up this winter so that I can move on to Dogtown Ag at some point. Um, especially now that I have the shed, I'm kind of chomping at the bit a little bit <laughs> to get at that. But, you know, got to get the main display mostly done at first. I'd actually kind of considered swapping it around and putting the big shed up on the main display. Uh, just because this big shed is not something I want to move too often. But uh, I think I can do it. I think I can be okay with it. Uh, be be careful with it. I've got to brace this board up a little bit before we can actually make it pull out and mount on to what we've got. We're planning on mounting it on, but uh, that's okay. That's that's doable here in the not too distant future. I was a little surprised that uh, this plywood sagged like it did. I mean, I kind of knew it would, but I didn't think it would sag as much as it is. But that's what that's what you get. What do you think of the new DCP Mac Superliner? Yeah, they look pretty sweet, Biggie. Uh, those are cool. Yeah, Earl. So I'm I'm kind of looking into that. I actually kind of started drawing up. Um, hopefully, maybe this weekend I can kind of get back on that and get you maybe like a, a preliminary pick of what I'm thinking's going on there, or what I'm hoping is going on there. And then it's trying to source decals. That's uh. That's that's one been one of my big hurdles lately, um, for sure. So, can I show you the shed? Yeah, we'll do a little shed tour. It's a it's a bit of a wreck right now, but we can we can do a shed tour here. I just realized that I've got the roof trusses or not trusses, whatever you call these. Ah, they're upside down right now, but they're sturdy enough. I can handle them like that, at least. Uh, of course, that doesn't stay on there. That's a, you know we can put a roof on it if we want. We can pull the roof off. That's the idea behind that whole thing. So, if only had a box for your order. Uh, so here, so just a quick update on. Uh, it might be working on a new bobcat. Interesting. I'd like to see the old bobcat first. Uh, it's going good, Bo. Um, so here's an update on shipping. So we had a ton of stuff ready to ship yesterday. Uh, we do, we've been doing like a scheduled, um, delivery, uh, you know, like, so the, the post guy comes and gets it. Well, we're, we have a rural carrier, so he, uh, doesn't necessarily have a ton of room all the time. So yesterday he didn't have room to pick up our stuff. 
because apparently everybody else is doing scheduled delivery as well. So that, uh, that kind of messed us up a little bit. Um, so yesterday's stuff went out today, and I guess today's stuff is going tomorrow. I'm trying to get more stuff in with tomorrow. Uh, shipping's just a nightmare right now. <laughs> if you guys are on, I think it was the 164 scale operators board over on Facebook. Uh, there was a pretty lengthy thread of a bunch of dealers uh, griping and complaining about shipping right now. So I, I, I hate that we're having delays, but at the same time, at least I'm not alone. <laughs> so, ah, so how's the feed tonight, guys? So I reset the router. Uh, so hopefully everything's good. Oddly enough, the video, I, it looks like chat is working for me, but the video feed is not working at all. So I don't know what you guys are actually looking at, unfortunately. But uh, So here's a big fact box order, by the way. We have uh, a couple of these coming within the next several days here. I honestly have no clue what is in this. Um, because this was ordered quite a while ago. Because like everybody else, fact, fact box is slammed right now. Oh, Oh, I like this. I like this a lot. Oh, this is cool. So, a buddy of mine drew this. Uh, so it's a big bench with a grinder on it. Uh, anyway, he wanted one, didn't really have a way to print it, but he said, hey, I'll draw it if you print it. I said, send it over. And uh, that's what we ended up with. That looks great. I can't wait to paint a couple of those up, man. Did a fantastic job drawing those. Oh wow! Super excited to get those. Get a couple of those painted up. We'll get those up on the website soon. So here's something else I've wanted for a long time: a hydraulic press in 164 scale. So this is this is modeled off the one at our farm. So it's basically homemade. It's like being molded together with uh, essentially. A bottle jack in the middle to do your pressing. So that's awesome. Super pumped about that. Okay, here. So you guys have seen this before. Uh, these have been up on my website before. So we've got a car lift, uh, just you know, a nice two post lift there. That's kind of new. I forgot about the. I mean, so I'd ordered these hoping to have all this stuff for Janesville. Well, the, the way shipping is, I think under normal circumstances, I would have had them easily for Janesville. But the way shipping and everything is right now, no such luck. And I was actually surprised to see these show up because over the weekend, my delivery date got updated to uh, got updated to uh, the 14th of December, and then they showed up today. So got an anvil printing right now. Awesome. Have I? Do I have any custom Massey tractors? Um. I have that one Agco that I did up custom, painted Massey red, that uh, track tractor. So what size is the shop in scale? So it is uh, 60 by 160, I believe, or 140. I'll have to measure it out for sure. I don't remember off the top of my head. It's, it's a little bigger than I wanted it to be, uh, but it'll work and it means that I've got plenty of room to do what needs to be done with it. So, uh, that's, that's fine. I'm, I'm happy with that. I'm just going to sort of scrounge through here. I think most of these are just my regular old toolboxes that are, uh, mostly available up on the website. Uh, we may have to update a little bit of inventory now that we've got some back in. Uh, I had a couple dealers that I wholesale to kind of clean me out on, on, uh, toolboxes here recently. So, and then here's, so this is neat too. Here's a new product. Uh, that's pretty neat. Although now I saw my buddy Jeremy Richards did one of these. So I don't know. I don't like, I don't like to do things that other people are doing, especially if they're friends of mine. But here's a nice like Quincy stand-up compressor. This is also just based off one that's in our shop at the farm. Uh, I just snapped a picture of it and then kind of went to town draw in one day and finally got around to actually printing the darn thing um anyway so i'll try to get some of these up on the website uh this weekend for sure i, I would say tonight but i don't know i've got a busy night ahead of me i've got more stuff to ship 
I think that's all the new stuff that's going to be in this sack. So, maybe we'll move on to the next one. Why does this computer keep doing that? Okay. Suppose you were to have some of my welders. Would you consider just selling them? Of course I would. Could I make a Chevy truck that you have in mind? Ah, you just have to tell me what you got in mind, and I don't know, maybe is the answer. Maybe. It's the first truck I ever drove. That's cool. Did I get this from Andrew? No, that came from Pierce Johnson, actually. Um, I traded him some stuff for it. Trading is the best. Because, you know, no money is involved. <laughs> All right, so let's see what we got here. Custom Mac log truck. I don't know what I would do with a log truck. I don't know, it might be kind of cool, though. To make everything out of wood. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Doesn't matter, Fleming, whenever you get a chance, I guess. Oh, cool, finally back in stock. So, disc blades for Kraus disc and disc blades for uh, some miscellaneous projects. Let's call that that. Um, mainly for John Deere centerfold disc, which is, uh, I've been trying to get these disc blades to print correctly forever, and these look fantastic, so finally, maybe, have those the way I want them. The great thing about pack box is you get enough packing material that you've got enough packing material to ship stuff for like a month. How many of those rigid organizers do I have at this point? Many. One, two, three, four, I don't know, eight, I think, roughly. They keep all of my tires, wheels, uh, some parts, things of that nature in there is typically what goes in there. Okay, so these are just more toolboxes. So you know where you can find all that stuff. All the, over on For the Love of Tractors. All right. Um, I like these rigid ones simply because I can take them with me to a show. If I need to, they lock down, uh, they stack, so that's nice. Because we have a rigid cart uh, that's got a case on it that we use to put our tools and things like that when we go to a show. Um, like tools and kind of other accessories. So, that's pretty good. Are my seven shank kits easy to put together? I've never made a kit, so I really want to start. Yeah, they're pretty straightforward, actually. Okay, so these are going to be Kraus disc kits, is what these are. What's going on, Tony? So there you go, Kraus disc kits. Got plenty of those now. Just got to put some together. I have this dilemma because obviously St. Louis is canceled, so I don't really have any other shows until Mark Twain show and Lafayette show. So it's a situation of do I try to develop some more products, some new stuff right now, or do I just start building like crazy so I have massive inventory for those shows? And I think the idea is building like crazy. So Tony, you're going to have to wait because... Picked you up one of these over the weekend, my friend. So that way you can do what you're going to do with that thing. So what's up, Hunter? Couldn't get to the Janesville show. Ah, it's all right. It was a great show. We had a fun time. It's going to be a bigger show next year, it sounds like. I think everybody's pretty excited about that show.
Oh, look at that. Some uh, Demco side quest tanks. Are, are they are they Demco side quest? Side quest tanks. Ah, Demco's not the word I'm looking for. Anyway. Maybe it is. Heck, I don't know. Anyway, side quest tanks. Oh, man, they sent me... That's interesting. That's really interesting. Why do they send me all these... Oh, hmm. Hmm. Okay, I guess we're going to... Those are either for the Kraus kits, which doesn't make sense that they sent me individually like that, or... Okay, why does my computer keep going off? Or... They're for something else. I'm going to refresh this computer and see what the heck's going on here. Keep There we go. Now we're back to live and in charge. Then you buy an anvil, and boy, are they expensive. I... Oh, yeah, I bet I bet anvils are stupid expensive. Yeah, Demco, okay. Oh, excuse me, guys. Ugh. I sandblasted all day at work today, so I'm a little, little stuffy. Even though I wear a respirator, it still doesn't matter. It's still, you still get stuff in your nose. Dinner's calling. Oh, bring me some. <laughs> oh, excuse me, guys. Whew. Okay, here we go. Fun stuff here. We've got... I have no clue what those are. Isn't that something? I'll look at those in a second. <laughs> Fuel tanks. So I ran out of those. Shipped my last one out a few weeks ago to a guy. He still hasn't got it because mail. Uh, and then here's our service bed kit. So we've got all sorts of neat stuff there. Uh, generator, compressor, reel, uh, welder, bucket, and acetylene torch. Oh, I'm super clogged all of a sudden. Your rivers came. That's freaking awesome. Finally. Jeez. Oh, the Janesville show was great. We had a great time. Really good group of guys there. Uh, lots of lots of dealers. Lots of variety. I was uh, I was a bit surprised at the variety actually. So there's you know there's 16 scale guys. There were some higher end 16 scale guys. Parts people. Uh, display stuff. I mean we had display stuff there. Um, 164 scale new in the box stuff galore. Uh, nice mix. Excuse me, a nice mix of older and newer stuff. So I was really happy um, that it was like that. Um, Kyle, I got to get off here about 7.30 so I can get back to shipping stuff. So that's the plan. So there, so you know. Yep, yeah. So, Bo, we're going to do like a Dogtown Ag buggy, fertilizer buggy. So I've already got some out. Uh, I don't know if I've got any here, but uh, yeah. So that's that's the plan. It's gonna have a little a small production line where we do you know where we make buggies. I just thought it'd be fun, kind of a neat storyline, kind of kind of be fun to play around with. I think. Can't believe you've been in this hobby for two years. That's awesome. The Steiger, yeah, that Steiger was friggin' fantastic. That was Jay Rolchens, and man, he's talented, man. I, so I was talking to him. I mean, we're buddies. I was talking to him for a while, and like, he's one of those guys that after you talk to him a little bit, you kind of feel like a scrub. You're kind of like, oh, God, like, I'm, I'm awful at this hobby. But uh, <laughs> I don't know. Where can I buy the shed on the thumb? You can't. I mean, I don't know. If you threw out a big enough number, maybe I'd get I'd sell this one, but I wouldn't. Um, <laughs> the, I, that that was all scratch built uh, by a guy, and that's he. I he's not going to scratch build you another one. I'm just ninety nine point nine 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 percent sure. Ah, so Rock and H beds. So these are made by Eric at Rock and H, or they're designed by Eric at Rock and H. 
Uh, he had a deal several years ago where you could buy the file and uh, print these. So I, I'm, I bought some of these. I'm going to try to stick them on some various trucks. I think they're just really neat beds. Uh, can do a silage rack or no. So we'll see how that goes. Um, I'm not a silage guy necessarily, but um, I may make a few because, I mean, obviously there's some silage people out there. So um, just because I'm not a silage guy doesn't mean others can't be. So buggy manufacturing line got you covered. Like to hear that, Tony. Like to hear that a lot, man. All right. Yeah, I think uh, I think for sure we're going to see a bigger show next year in Janesville. So my understanding is there's already kind of a dealer list, a waiting list to get in for dealers. All the dealers that I talked to that were there were thrilled. I mean, had a great show. It was an odd show in that Saturday morning was nuts. It was so busy in there. And I think basically all the dealers kind of made their weekend that morning. And then Saturday afternoon was dead. And then Sunday was good the whole day. It was just a nice, steady day. Not like super busy, not slow. Everybody had a good time. You know, you can tell if a show was good at the end of the day, if everybody's still joking, you know, at, at Sunday when everybody's packing up, if everybody's joking around, having a good time, uh, it was a good weekend. And that's everybody was having a good time. So, all right. You always wanted to since you were four. Okay. Joshua, please. Hello. I watch all your videos. Thank you. Appreciate that. You want to start doing customs even though you're 10? Do it. Just just do it. Stop in, swap in tires. Start swapping tires, things like that. Hop in and start, uh, start customizing. Age means nothing. Farm, Farm Factor 3D was at the show, actually. Um, they were our neighbors. Uh, Jeff and his wife were fantastic. Great people. Really nice to talk to. Uh, great neighbors to have at a toy show. <laughs> anyway, so Jeff and I talked about 3D printing a little bit. Uh, obviously, we were both busy. so But uh, I think it was like Sunday afternoon. We kind of kind of slowed down a little bit. We got to chat some. Uh, I got a cultivator kit from him. I can't wait to get that put together. So. Yeah, Bo, I'll show you the shed here once we kind of get through all this stuff. Um, or at least give you a quick and easy tour. I definitely have some work to do on it, so, I mean, bear with me with as far as that goes. Uh, I've got a lot of things I want to do to it still to dress it up. Uh, I want to put gutters on it um, and downspouts. Uh, let's see. I want to put some outdoor lights above some of the door bays there. Um... Yeah, I don't know, just some various things here and there. You'll kind of see as we go around uh, some of the things are, you know, kind of get an idea. It's neat. It's uh, it's an older build. You can tell it's it's not a super modern build shed, but um, it's I like it a lot. I'm excited for it. That's for sure. So, okay, let's go. We got we, we, words are hard. More rock and H beds to deal with here. Those are. Super cool. I need to just buckle down and put together some of that stuff is what it boils down to. Uh, I don't know if I got enough trucks to put together too many of those, but... Do you know where to find a 24-row planter? Uh, I mean, if you're looking for, like, spec cast, uh, probably, excuse me, probably something like Outback Toys would be my guess. I definitely don't have any 24 row. Do you want Deer or Case IH or Kinsey or I don't think there's a Kinsey 24 row available. Oh, Dave, you know what? Dave Holman might have you a 24 row uh, in some various makes there. You might check him out. Heartland Customs. So this box, it's becoming very apparent as I get to the bottom. It doesn't have what I wanted to. So that means that's coming in the next box. I have something I'm super excited about. Uh, and I guess that's the next box. Actually, the next box I did is a whole bunch of test products. So I'm kind of pumped to see those. Yeah, these are more Rock and H beds. I think that's my last set of Rock and H beds. I think I only ordered, I ordered three different sizes. So, and I say that, and this sure feels like another set. <clears throat>
Uh, Colton, hey, what's up? Uh, so, probably this weekend or early next week, uh, I had to take a little detour this week on some of the videos as far as getting some editing done. Uh, it's kind of a long story, but uh, didn't have the time to do some of the editing I wanted. But, uh, yeah, certainly the other display videos will be up uh, within the next next uh, several days here for sure. Uh, yeah, so Colton had a really nice display at Janesville. I really enjoyed seeing that as well. Um, so, anyway, thanks for bringing that uh, to the show. Love the video with the Massey 97. All right, thanks. I did, Jax. That looks cool. Oh, I'm doing good, Avery. How are you doing? Let's some here. So, I'll say, okay, so, yeah, all right. The uh, the January contest. So here's, here's what we're thinking. So I actually was talking to quite a few people this weekend at the show about it. Uh, yeah, Andrew's mini display was great. And I um, have a sweet idea for manufacturing shops. Okay. Uh, I would love to have a farm. Oh, definitely uh, when you get older, do that. Okay. All right. So, yeah. So, um, uh, there we go. So, the January thing. So, if you guys don't know, we're going to do a virtual show. Now, here's... So, we might be changing... Uh, changing it up a little bit because of St. Louis getting canceled. We're almost considering moving it back uh, into early February. And I don't know what you guys think about that. But So we're going to have, for sure, uh, custom and scratch build contests. And uh, we kind of worked on some details, and I will try my best to get those posted over the weekend. Um, you know, we want to have probably a couple classes like I mean, we can do all scales if anybody wants, you know, if there's enough interest. But what we want to do is probably have like a junior and an adult division. And then, um, I don't know, we, we've, we've talked about doing several different categories within that. Like maybe we do a truck category, a tractor category, maybe even like a harvester category. I That's kind of up near. It depends on how many people want to enter. It is, of course, 100% free to enter. Uh, all you got to do is just take a bunch of pictures and, you know, we'll, you'll send them to me. I'll do a video uh, of those, so on and so forth. So that's kind of the plan there. Um, let's see, what else? Um, we're still working on how the dealer thing is going to work for sure. Uh, we possibly ran into a couple, um, I don't know, how do I want to say it? Uh, not legal issues in a bad way. But a couple things that we have to, uh, we just have to cross our T's and dot our I's on before we, we do it and uh, stuff like that. Let's see, what else? Um, oh, and then of course we want to have a display contest as well. So, Oh, no, no problem. Glad to talk about it. Um, yeah, like I said, we're, we we kind of had it somewhat settled, and then we realized uh, we realized that <laughs> we we had we just had some more uh, you know a little more work to do before we could kind of release details on that. And then of course the Janesville show happened, and so that kind of that week was kind of all about that. So here are some frames for some Rock and H some of these trailers here. So those are cool. Okay. Last box. What's in this puppy? It's not good when you look at a bag of parts that you ordered and you go, I don't have a clue what these are. Oh, I know what these are now. Dimco uh, brackets. So those are the mounting brackets for those tanks. Pretty good detail I think I got on those, although that part broke right there. That's unfortunate. But I'm happy with how those turned out in general. What else is in here? Okay, oh, here are the wheels for all those tires that we saw earlier. They didn't fuse together for once, that's amazing. And hoist kit for these Rock and H beds over here. So, okay, cool. Very cool. I don't know. I'll have to go look, uh, Malachi. I'll have to go look. I don't know if I saw that or not. It's busy day today. It was, uh, I was out working right up until about four o'clock tonight, and then I had to get in the office and 
finish a whole bunch of stuff and I had this big box of parts just sitting there waiting for me and I couldn't open them. You know how that is? It's awful. It's torture. <laughs> I don't know, maybe not for you guys, but when I got a big big box of tractor parts sitting there waiting for me to open up, it's like Christmas. And I want to open them, but I couldn't today. What is a good trailer to make a spray trailer that is not expensive and is decent detail? So the DCP flatbeds are probably where it's at. How about, how about that? There, there's one right there. Uh, you can get those for like 30-ish bucks, roughly, give or take. Just a little bit. That's where I'd start. 30 bucks isn't too bad. Oh, absolutely, Bo. 100% okay to be in a vendor and in the contest. Oh, a 7720 with steel tracks. That's sweet. <clears throat> yeah, the plywood sagging something terrible. We got to build some bracing. Then we're gonna, I don't know if we're going to do rollers or what, but we're going to have this pull out so that it can be uh, mounted up top up, up here with regular dog town. So. Uh, that's the idea anyway. Obviously got a little bit of work to do there. And it's okay as long as it doesn't fall. I can sag for right now because I've got... There's not much weight on there. Believe it or not, the shed doesn't weigh that much. It's all styrene, so... All right, so some guys wanted a shed tour. Ah. Might look good on a first-gen flatbed. Yeah, Maybe. Added lights to your spray trailer that work. That's cool. There should be a barn contest. That'd be fun. Maybe you can get enough people. I'm all game. Went to Dalton's last weekend. That's cool. I've never been there. All right, let's, let's just do a quick shed tour. What the heck? So, again, it's huge. Uh, so here's kind of our upper loft. You have parts bins and all that sort of thing up there. Let's just take a quick peek in here. So obviously this is kind of a uh, truck door or, you know, small tractor door. Um, not going to Not going to fit a semi through there, obviously, but... You know, it could fit something like that in there. So I'll probably put a lift somewhere in the back or, you know, somewhere close to there so that uh, we can do that. And then, uh, so bigger shed. I'm kind of curious to see what fits in here. Let's say, uh, hey, uh, this is going to look familiar to one of you. <laughs> Hopefully I can finish the implement for this and we can actually do the video on it. Uh, yeah, it fits perfect in there. Um, so then moving over, you know, obviously we're going to fit, you know, hopefully at least a decent sized tractor will fit through there. I think it will without any trouble. And then we've got more kind of like semi truck doors over there. So that's kind of how that's going to look. Um, and then we've got a, sh uh, I want to say, a sh <laughs> trying to say shop. That's not true. Uh, we've kind of got like office space over there. I'll, I'll kind of show you guys that another time though. But, um, yeah, that's, that's Fleming's tractor. Uh, soon I will debut that tractor. Soon. I've got something really cool in the works for it, so I promise. Um, anyway. <laughs> so there you go, guys. There's kind of, there's, there's kind of the shed tour. Um, you know, we're just, just, it's kind of, it's going to be fun. I think it's neat. It's going to, it's going to provide some opportunity for some storytelling which is kind of why I'm after it. Now there's a picture of my ceiling and all that stuff. Do you like the John Deere whatever? I've never heard that. I'm almost 100% sure of it. Yeah, I'm 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 sure I have it. So well let's just pop up here on Dogtown for a minute. What the heck? What time is it anyway? 7.05. Man, we got plenty of time. Whoa. All right. 
Sweets. Here's an appropriately placed product. Remember, guys, I am now a BSI uh, glue dealer, uh, adhesives dealer. So head over to the website and check out that stuff, too. Uh, uh, you know, I, I don't know. It's, it's my favorite glue. I mean, not just because I sell it. It's definitely my favorite glue. Picked up a new lift for your shop. Nice. Woo! Almost knocked over my camera looking at pictures or looking at chat there. Even more could they took all of your money. Yeah, that's it's funny how that happens. <laughs> Alright, let's see. I need to make sure I don't have anything top secret over here before <laughs> before I uh Scroll the camera over to the main part of Dogtown. We might do a little, do a little rearranging here on Dogtown for the next 20, 30 minutes. Okay, everything looks good over here. I don't see anything that I'm going to get in trouble by showing. Uh, so let's just scroll over. All right. <clears throat> Did you like the sound effects there? I think they really add to the, the broadcast here. Yeah, BSI glue is where it's at. It's just, it goes a long way. You It literally, a drop is all you need. And, um, yeah. Yeah, Tony, that's kind of the plan. Uh, Dogtown Farms and Manufacturing. That's kind of the idea here. Um, I don't know. We'll see. It might be silly, but I think it'd be kind of fun. BSI is expensive, but you get what you pay for. I mean, that, that's just kind of the bottom line. Um, <laughs> like I said, it, it takes so little uh, that it just, I don't know, it goes a long way. I mean, a, a, a one ounce jar of super gold will last me a good six or eight months. And I mean, you guys know how much I build. And so, you know, I'm not, you know. I get that it's expensive, and I'm not saying, like, hey, you know, go spend all your money on this. I, I'm just saying, um, if you want a glue that is, like, I'll say more consistent, less less hassle, and uh, easier to use, takes less to use, doesn't stink like crazy, uh, I, BSI is where it's at. I mean, that's just my personal opinion. Uh, and like I said, I know a really nice guy you can get it from now. <laughs> So, we got to get that stuff put away soon. All right. I mean, I like Dodge trucks, but I'm I'm ultimately a cheap wad, tight wad, so Yeah, that's the thing with BSI. It drives so freaking clean. It 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 is. Uh, I don't know. It's just good stuff. I mean, I get it. It's expensive. Trust me, I understand. It turned me. You know, for a while, the price turned me off on it too. And uh, but I finally took the leap because I was tired of messing with the um, the regular glue, the uh, like the Loctite and Gorilla Glue. Like it just kind of. I don't know. It used to used to water up my eyes something terrible and I could only build for a certain amount of time and then my nose would be running so bad I'd have to quit and so um the BSI just doesn't do that so that's oh, worth it to me <clears throat> yeah I'm, I'm not a just not a fan of Loctite just I'm just not just the way it is oh all my guys are over here sleeping Oh, uh, let's see. Dang, can't that can't get that door to close for nothing for some reason. Okay. Yeah, let's let's pull the old truck over here to the fuel tank. Let's get him filled up. Which side's the fuel door on? There you go, that side. I think it's actually on both sides if I remember correctly. It's uh Whoop. 
I need to get a uh, a pin stuck in his foot so that he can stay up. Why hasn't anyone done a tomato farm display? I wouldn't do. I wouldn't even know where to start on a. Why don't you do one? You could be the first. That'd be awesome. That, that's an idea. You should do one. Where did I get my figures? So, Farm Factor 3D and uh, Grizz. Um, Tony, what's Grizz's, uh, what's Grizz's name? Grizz has got to get back with me soon, I think. I hope. Uh, he, uh, I think he's getting some stuff together for me. I guess I haven't heard from him for a little while, but I hope he is. <laughs> I like his stuff, anyway. Yeah, hey, let's get him. Yep. Yeah, I can be leaning there, working on the toolbox or something. Grow maters for hunts, okay. Yeah, I do glue my standy bins together, yep. Wish I could party all night, but I got school tomorrow. Well, school's important. Wish I could party all night too, but I got... I got work tomorrow, and I'm getting old, so I just go to sleep at, like, Bearcat 3D, that's Grizz, yeah. He's got, uh, he's got figurines, too. That's where the, the mini Jason came from, down there. Yeah, Shapeways has some guys, too. I think a lot of the ones on Shapeways are Farm Factor 3D, if I remember correctly. It's kind of weird. We're all Mopar. Mopar, Mopar, Mopar. And then we've got these two awesome classic Chevys up here. Like, it's, it's just kind of interesting. I think the 6030 would pull this disc. Might be surprised. 6030 is kind of a beast of a tracker. Probably wouldn't pull that disc, though. Where's the old first gen at? Well, he's right down here. Yeah, we need him up there too. I I uh I did a bunch of rearranging. Ow, right before Janesville. Man, I just popped my hand in there. It's like, hey. Oh. Yeah, let's get the old first gen over here too. Let's uh Oh, I'll tell you what we're gonna do with him. We're gonna get a tote on him. Yeah, I like that a lot. We'll just pull him in here. They're all just chatting up a storm. Am I gonna make any Steiger uh, tractors? Yeah, that's that's. Uh, I bet one out of every two tractors I make is this Tiger. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's it's right over there, Everett. It's uh, it's sitting outside the shop. Uh, just kind of hanging out right now. 50 viewers, sweet, nice job, thanks guys. Appreciate uh, appreciate y'all you coming out. Really? I can't believe he hasn't posted that yet. He may still though. He he trickles those out a lot, Bo. <laughs> so he may still. Yes, the mirrors are fixed on the, the first gen, actually. Yeah, they are ready to roll. Thanks, Shane. Appreciate that. That's so weird. I, I don't know why he wouldn't post those. That's weird. I do want to race tonight, but there's no, no chance I get to. I inspire you to make farm toys. That's what it's all about. I'm glad to hear that. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, Chris is, Chris didn't get all of his videos posted yet either. 71 International with 10 speed and brakes, air brakes. Nice. Yeah. 
No, I haven't I haven't changed the shop at all right now. Uh but there's a there I'm gonna move some equipment around in it pretty quick here. We do need more likes. We need more likes and shares and follows. Need a Mopar drag car. Hmm. I've got one somewhere. I bet it's over on my shelves. Oh, no, here it is. Drag car, you say? How about that guy right there? It's kind of a standing mile car. This kind of uh, my my uh, my thinking was on that. It's dusty as heck. I know that. Kind of wish uh, somebody would make a decent uh, looking, kind of like American Racing or uh, Pro Star drag rims or something for for those. But you know, beggars can't be choosers either. I guess theoretically I could make them myself, but that's no fun. Oh, I, I think that's an interesting idea there, Fleming. The chopper, awesome. Yeah, Bo, you're going to use the living daylights out of that. It is worth it because it's... it's uh, yeah, I've got a I've got a chopper as well. It's worth it because you can just knock those cuts out super fast with that thing. So you'll you'll be happy you got it. <laughs> yeah, that Chevy and dump trailer, that's special over there. That's uh, that thing's special. That's gonna always be on my display somewhere. What gleaners do I have? I actually did a video of my gleaners. They're all at my shop right now though. In my office. Uh, I don't have any old ones yet, but I'm working on acquiring some. I basically, basically have those like Super 77s or whatever they are. That's pretty much the gleaners I've got. Okay, Everett. Yeah, you know, uh, Rat Slayer... Like, I'll be honest, not none of my local friends have the same hobby as me either. I had to go to toy shows and meet people to find people that have the same hobby as me. That's uh, that's what the value of toy shows are. Well, you know, things like this. You can meet other people who are into what you're into. And it uh, works out great, I think. Old school Agco Gleaner's nice with straight pipes. Yeah, Bo, you may you occasionally you'll have to uh maybe tighten it up just a little bit, but yeah, it's good. I've I've gosh, I don't know how many cuts I've made with mine, many uh thousands. <laughs> because back when uh back when we scratch built everything, all my implements were basically, you know, the the styrene was cut using the chopper. So basically every implement I ever scratch built, that was the use for it. So up chicken noodles tree pruners work oh yeah Tim's a great guy Tim uh, Tim's buddy for sure good good guy oh that's not good your sister has COVID that's not good take care of her Do you watch the Squad YouTube channel? I guess I don't. I'll have to check that out. Yeah, fire away, Everett, with your question. So, somebody asked what Steigers have on Dogtown. Honestly, not very many right now. Uh, there's a red road track that's tanked up. Uh, these two probably aren't permanent on, on Dogtown. I'm just playing. 
Uh, that's just the way it goes sometimes. That 9190 back in the shed there, that's technically a Steiger Tiger repainted red. Uh, anyway, that's, that's, that's pretty much it. Oh, what's the shed in the thumbnail? I'll take you back down to it. So uh, this is ah, the future home of Dogtown Ag is what this is. So um, anyway, well, my automatic light just went off again. Um, you know, so it's it's a it's a huge shed. I think it's 60 by 160, I think, or 140 or in that neighborhood. I'll have to measure it out. That's big. <laughs> and, um, you know, so we've got four bay doors here. The idea is some of this is going to be farm shop, and then some of it is going to be um, manufacturing. So uh, anyway, I think it'll be fun. Um, it's just going to add to the storyline. It's a ways off. There's there's not going to be anything uh, done with that for a while. We've got plenty of other things to do first, but uh, it's just going to be fun. We will definitely have bulk nitrogen tanks at some point on the farm. It's actually going to go on the Dogtown Ag portion of the farm. That's why it's not up on the main board. So the main board where that 60, 30 and disc are sitting right now, there's going to be a house there. And then we're going to sort of detail out the farmyard and all that sort of thing. So everything looks pretty Spartan right now, but uh, we'll, uh, we'll get it improved here in the winter. I do not have an F-350. I'm a Dodge guy. Yes, the Dogtown Ag is in association with the farm with the red barns. So that's why this shed's probably getting painted red. <laughs> uh, just haven't done it yet. But uh, that's probably on the list when, when warmer weather gets here. I've got to figure out how to do it uh, without getting red where I don't want it. But yeah, that's, that's, that's probably what's going to happen. <laughs> Do I have seed pallets? I do not, but Jeremy Richards does. If you look up JHR Customs, um, that is a great place for seed pallets. I do not have any Agco on Dogtown, no. I did not build that shed. No, I traded uh, a friend of mine for it. I maybe a Ford can visit every once in a while, but no, there will be no Fords on Dogtown. <laughs> Do I have a link to my store? Yeah, give me a second here. I'm posting as my wife, just FYI, because I'm obviously logged in on my phone. There's the link to the store. <laughs> Those six O's do have a slight head gasket issue. I actually know a buddy that's just replacing his literally right now as we're speaking. It's kind of funny you mentioned that. Yes, the big shop came from Pierce. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> so I guess it's no secret that that was on Willowbrook at this point. So, uh, anyway, like I said, I need to modify it some. Um, like I said, I kind of want to paint it red. Uh, but the trick is how to spray paint it red without, um, getting paint where I don't want it. So that's the kind of the, oh, million dollar question right now.
Yeah, Sam, I do a little bit of farming. There's some farm videos here from our farm on uh, on the YouTube channel here. And um, I don't have any modern Agco Alice. Uh, there will be a classic tractor component to Dogtown down the road. And I definitely will have a, a classic Alice Chalmer uh, on, on Dogtown at that point. Oh, you know what? Someone said... Uh, Someone asked if I had any Agco, and, and I said no, but that's not true. I will have some classic Agco tractors on Dogtown, uh, again, with that classic tractor component that we're talking about. An old milk truck. I don't know, where would I get an old milk truck? <laughs> I'd have to build one. Okay. Well, I'm not going to say never, but my build list is astronomically large now. Uh, I think somebody the other day asked me if I would build something for them, and I told them if they didn't mind having it in 2024, I would be more than happy to. So... <laughs> Dad's F-250 has 758 horsepower. Well, that's plenty. Ah, you know what? If uh, it doesn't matter if it's very detailed, you built it with your grandpa, that's awesome. That's, uh, that's, that's way cooler than, than having somebody build you a shed, is building one with your grandpa. That's super cool. About how many toys do I have? Oh boy, a uh, couple couple thousand plus. I mean, it's ridiculous at this point. It needs it needs pruned back. To be honest with you, at some point I'm going to. I'm getting I'm getting to the point where I want to focus my collection, and uh, that means some things are just going to have to go down the road. Now I don't know what or when, so don't you know? Don't ask me if like, hey, is this for sale? Because I don't know. But at some point. Something's going to have to go. Is Dogtown Ag a custom farming unit, or is it more like an FS with sprayers and applicators and maybe propane? So, um, so it's kind of, yeah, kind of like an FS, if you will. Um, more on the application side of things, so, you know, fertilizer, NH3, uh, things of that nature. That's kind of what Dogtown Ag is going to be. <laughs> I got you. I got you there, John. <laughs> Do you 3D print your... No, that red dump is not 3D printed. That is a... Uh, Ah, oh, that is a first gear, I think, and so. But what I did is I customized it, so uh, it's just got some paint and wheels and some detail to it that it didn't have before. What is the building from and for on the picture of the window? I don't, I don't, I don't follow that question. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm tired. I'm slow. I'm not following that question. I suppose a Ford with a Cummings is uh, doable. Can I show the old junk car in the back? What junk car? Ooh, an ingrown nail procedure. That sounds terrible. John Carr, that's a that's a seventy one Challenger TA. What do you mean, John Carr? That is that thing is mint. That is that is pristine. Ah, 
<laughs> I was insulted by that challenger being called a junk car. <laughs> this guy right here. It's a, it's a junk car. That's like my dream car. <laughs> <laughs> oh no it's okay i'm just joking with you it's fine it's fine we're just having fun yeah i am i unboxed a whole bunch of 3d parts is what i unboxed so start getting those up on the website eventually BMW I said it. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> now that is something. I don't think I'll ever have one of those on Dogtown. <sighs> yeah, all right. Show us that John Deere in front of us. Okay, the 6030, you bet. Can I put a Massey on the display? Oh, I'll put a classic Massey on the display. <clears throat> but as far as like a, uh, a modern Massey, no, there's no chance there's a modern Massey on the display. And I like Masseys, don't get me wrong. You know what, I take that back. If somebody would uh, 3D print a GC1720 with loader and buckets, I'd put that on my display. Okay, guys, here, let's. Uh, I gotta do a little rearranging. Okay, so here is this John Deere in front of you. So this is a 6030. What I did is I took the steps off one of the authentic tractors, just put that up on there. Also the front wheel assist off that, and well, this is gonna shock you that the rear tires as well came off. It's a 4450 is what it was, the front wheel assist version. So, um, you know, pretty simple custom. Also, also filled the hood seam and all that sort of thing. The steering, the front end, Excuse me, guys. Front end does steer. So. And then it's just a little detail painting here and there. Just to kind of dress it up some. Uh, these 6030s are fantastic tractors to start customizing with. And I actually just bought several at the show this weekend. I was looking for some for a long time and they kind of dried up on me. But, uh, luckily, I found a dealer at the show that had like six of them. So I bought them all. And it was kind of funny. They were kind of behind the counter, and some some very nice lady was working <laughs> the table. And I go, "Oh, I, I'd like a, I'd like your sixty thirties." And she goes, "How many? How many? Just you just want one?" I go, "No, I want them all." And she goes, "You want them all?" I go, "Yeah, I want them all." <laughs> I do not have any fox tractors. I don't know where you'd even get fox tractor. Yeah, there are very few 6030s with front wheel assist in real life, that's for sure. Boy, that is dusty as all get out, isn't it? Agreed, classic Masseys are the best. No argument there. I love me some 60s, 70s era Massey. I want a Lamborghini Aventador, that's what I want. I'm trying to find one, but I'll come across one someday. Can I get a toy truck on the display? I have a, I have a ton of trucks on the display. How do I fill hood seams? So you fill hood seams, split your casting in half. Usually it's a rivet or two. Uh, get some JB weld, smash it back together. <laughs> get you a clamp like this to clamp it together. Uh, let that JB weld set up if uh, it's in your seam. Sand it nice and flat, uh, you know, so you can get a good paint job on it. If that doesn't work, or if you don't want to pull your casting apart, you can always use glazing putty as well, which you can find at any car parts store for the most part. Um, fill it up, sand it down till it's good and paint ready. Prime it, paint, you're ready to go. Filling hood seams is actually really easy. A lot of people uh, kind of fret over doing it, but it's super easy to do. We are having a little uh, a little print issue with our 8RX weights, it turns out. I was going to post those up, 
And then I saw that the two outside weights on each side are melting together for some reason. Like, they're running together. So I've got to figure that out. Uh, I don't know. I've got to figure that out before I'll sell them because they look goofy. I made those decals myself, and I'll probably make more. Uh, I'll probably redo them, I mean, because... Uh, they, they're okay, but I've, I'm getting a little better at decals now, so. 135s are nice Masseys, that's for sure. I think my father-in-law has a 135 Massey. I have a tow truck, not on the display right now, but I do have a tow truck. that will occasionally make an appearance on the display. Ah, Joshua, all the big buds are at my office. Sorry, man. Um, I, I can't show you the other side of Dogtown right now, unfortunately. There's a, there's a set of tractors over there that, uh, uh, can't be revealed just yet. Sorry. <laughs> I know that sounds stupid, but I, I can't. Sorry. Uh, I do not have any Brian Longstaggers, although I have a couple kits that I put together of his. Ah, well, that's all right. Your Dremel, when you get your Dremel, you're going to be ready to rock, man. Yeah, I would love to just just drive an Aventador. I wouldn't even do stupid stuff. Like, I, I get it. You know, if somebody's let me drive their car, I'm going to respect it. I'm not going to be silly with it, with it, but I would just love to drive one. Just one time to hear it, to kind of run through a couple gears. I don't know, it'd just be so cool. I don't know, like, I'm really not into, uh, like, supercars or hypercars that much, but for some reason, the Aventador, like, really captured my imagination for some reason. Oh, yeah, Brian Long's, Brian Long's an incredible builder. Those big trees, my wife made those trees. A lawn care... No, I don't have room for a lawn care display. That sounds awesome. Uh, I'm game. Oh, lots of, lots of, lots of questions, and I'm backing up here. You'll love that Dave Hallman tractor. He's a great guy, great builder. Uh, the only thing I know about the X9 is we're getting one. We're going to have two versions, so there's going to be a, a rail version and a, a wheel version, and they're coming next year. That's the only thing I know so far. Yeah, so Gary, I actually was. I was in Mount Sterling. Uh, oh, on the way to National is when, so early November, we went up through Mount Sterling. And yeah, I saw that fent. It was so cool. <laughs> oh, the, the Super Velo. Yeah, the SVJ is awesome. Um, it's just kind of, it's just kind of over the top crazy. I don't know. I, I, I do like that one. I mean, ever, whenever. I, I don't care, whenever. Just happy to get something. You know me, I'm just excited to get toys. <laughs> my favorite tractor on my display is definitely my 9190. Um, it's one of my favorite tractors I've ever built. Uh, let's get it out of here real slow. Barely fits through the gate there. So, hang on, let's just bring it over here. Get a closer look. This is This is my favorite tractor on my display. So this uh, is, you know, repowered. So th this started as an Ertl. Now I've scratch built one of these too. Some of you guys might know that. Uh, but anyway, 
cut out all the engine, uh, put in a new Cummins so that it actually looks right, obviously dueled it up, detailed it the best I could um, for the most part, cut a couple little things I'd like to add, but I even did, you know, I even did like windshield washers. So I think it turned out pretty cool. I do need to run some hydraulic lines back here. I had to get back to building those. I've got a couple guys that want those. And if one of them, I apologize for not getting it done. It's just been a nutty, nutty, nutty fall. <laughs> you know, I'm just not a huge Bugatti fan. I, I mean, it would kind of be cool to say you own the fastest car in the world, but I don't know. I'm just not a huge fan of those for some reason. <clears throat> Best website to buy custom tractors. Well, that's for the love of tractors.com. No Alice Chalmer on the display. There'll be some classic Alice on the display in the future, though. Uh, I definitely cannot make Steiger decals to sell. I will get hammered by Case IH if I do that. Like, I, I'm... I kind of am good right now with flying under Case IH's radar. Like, they kind of don't bother me, and I don't... You know, I try not to step on them too much. Uh, but when you start doing decals, uh, that opens up a whole different can of worms with, with companies like that. So I unfortunately cannot. I'm sure there are guys that will, though. Uh, no, it wouldn't be a sin to come and swap a deer. That's what John Kinsey did a whole lot. John Kinzenball, he did that a whole bunch. I've got some come and swap deer. Uh, I'm going to be running Kinsey auger wagons on my, my display. Sorry, no Brent, all Kinsey. Uh, tr you might try Jeff Borth for some custom decals. That might be your next best bet. If not, there's Christy. I can't think of her last name. Christy, Christy's custom designs or something like that on Facebook. I mean, my all-time favorite tractor, I don't know. I, it's so hard to say because I love tractors. Maybe it's a Tiger KP1400 or a Massey 97. Maybe a John Deere 8430. Maybe a John Deere 8850. I'm not sure. Hard to say. Yeah, well, I mean, that's kind of how it happens, Kyle. Oh, look, you're so, you've got decals. You've got Steiger decals on your website. Here's a nice letter from our lawyers. Sort of how it works. Uh, I think that Ertl VT is nice, Gary. I think it's a nice, uh, a nice piece for the money. Do you have any Cub Cadets? Not yet, but I'm going to. Working on one right now, actually. Oh yeah, I watch Classic Tractor Fever. Fever, you bet. I love that show. Do I have any John Deere tractors on my display? Yes. <laughs> here's an here's an eighty four thirty. I don't know if you can see it through that way or not. Not so much. Anyway, yeah, there's an 8430. You better have a John Deere on my display. Uh, the Cub Cadets is on the other side. Can't see it right now. Sorry. It is one of, uh, it's one of Jay Rolchin's kits. I don't know if you're familiar with uh, him or not. Actually, I take that back. I got it from Chucky Stevens, but I think Jay drew it, but I won't swear to it. What would, advice would I give a first-time display builder? So I would try my best to look at videos and pictures of other displays and really pick out the details. So find a display that you like. So let's say it's a Chris Steve display or an Andrew O'Leary display, some Doug Simon, somebody like that. And take a look at them and, and try to figure out what makes those displays uh, special or detailed or whatever. And then go, okay, those are the things I need to be doing. So, and then I think the other thing is if you, if you got real farms in your area, drive by those farms and, and look at those and see what those guys are doing as far as displays go, or as far as not displays, as far as like, okay, there's a hydrant here. So maybe you want a hydrant there or something like that is what I mean. So anyway, it's all, it all comes down to the details. And the most important thing is have fun with it. Uh, that's, that's really the important thing. You know, if you're building something and you get frustrated, just set it aside. It's no big deal. 
Um, but have fun. I did not pick up that service truck uh, from Andrew. Thought about it, that's for sure. I really wanted one of those stack fold planners he had. How much do you think a 60... Oh, boy. I bet those X9s are like... I don't know. I'm going to guess 35 to 50-ish. I don't know. I'm just throwing that out there. I think that's that's my guess. My favorite pickup truck? Oh, it's got to be a Ram. I mean, like, you know, some Cummins-powered Ram for sure. Uh, you know, if it's a new one. I don't know when we'll get more trees. That's completely up to my wife's schedule, and she is swamped right now with work, so I don't know. No, I'm not painting a Kenzie grain cart green. Why would I do that? Ha! Whistling, I'd say you're a little bit late, bud, but that's all right. Better late than never. Can I sell more tractors with tracks? I mean, we can try. We can see what we can get built up there. It's a Toyota all the way. Oh, really? Toyota all the way down there. Okay, that's cool. Ah, uh, we, we unfortunately right now do not have a dog. We are between dogs. Our our dog passed away last year. Uh, he was a St. Bernard, and uh, I don't know. We miss him a whole bunch. I know that. We I actually have printed a St. Bernard, though, so uh, I think I'm covered on dogs. You bought a guy out of Steiger at Janesville. Nice. What kind of old deers do I have? I, I've got, you know, I'm like, I'm kind of into the 40, uh, I'm sorry, the, the 30, 40 series deer. Those are kind of my favorites. Uh, the 8850s as well. That's So if I'm, you know, doing old deer, that's kind of where I'm at. Um, I'll show you, I'll do a room tour one of these days. Today's not the day for that. We're still unpacking from Janesville and it's a nightmare in here. <laughs> All right, catch you later, Kyle. Hope Granville turned out. Can you undo the disc? What do you mean? What do you mean undo the disc? My favorite tractor is probably it's probably a Steiger KP fourteen hundred. <laughs> Saint Bernard in a mix, nice. No, no. Kyle is my mod. That's just all there is to it. Yeah, we sold okay at Janesville. It was it was a solid show for us. Uh, you know, I'm mean, not not a record situation by any stretch, but we did fine. Uh, certainly enough to warrant going back next year. If you had to pick a bobcat or a tractor, oh, I mean tractor for me all the way. You know, I'm not, I'm not particularly good at weathering tractors. I, I mean, I'm probably not the guy for that job for sure. All right, guys, I got to get going here though. Sorry, I'm a little later than I wanted to be, but I have a ton of stuff I got to get done still tonight. So, um. I need to head on, but uh, anyway, guys, I certainly appreciate uh, appreciate you hanging out with me. Are you going to get one of Ty, Ty, uh, Kyle's skid steers? Yep, I definitely am. I think they're cool. Oh, okay. Here, I'll show you how to do this real quick. I got you. How do you undo the disc in front of me? So, so this is kind of a neat tandem disc, and then, then I'm going to go to bed. So these unlatch right here. So, so it's kind of like a chain type situation. There we go. Then what happens is, uh, now I got to figure out how to do it myself. Oh, I know. Yeah. 
Okay, got to do this without breaking anything. Wow, why is that being so stingy? It's cold down here. There we go. It's cold down here. That's a lot of it. So, that comes apart like that. So, here's this other latch here. So then what you're going to do is you're going to drive this one forward to here. Your swing arm then latches to there. And then you're hooked up to your tractor. And then you can go down the road with it. Super long outfit. I would hate to go down the road with it and try to turn into some of the fields, but that's how it works. There were some back in the 70s and 80s, there were some real ingenuitive uh, implements as far as getting down the road. So, all right, guys. Yep, yeah, thanks for coming. I gotta go, I gotta get to work. <laughs> so, I'll catch you all later. Uh, remember, you can get glue and all sorts of fun stuff at ForTheLoveOfTractors.com. All right, guys. Have yourselves a great night. Happy tractor hunting.